In this lecture, we're going to talk a bit more about titrations and equivalence points. Now, earlier in another video, we saw that we can actually calculate our equivalence point using a formula. Now, if you want to learn more about that, check out the link above. Now, actually calculating your equivalence point isn't very useful when you're conducting your experiment. When you're titrating, you want to actually visualize uh, the equivalence point. And to visualize it, you use two things. The first thing you use is a pH meter. The pH meter will automatically tell you the pH of your solution. For example, suppose this is your pH meter and it's attached to your solution. And at any given time, you can look at it and it will tell you the pH of your uh, buffer solution. Now, the second thing you, you need to use is called an acid-base indicator. Acid-base indicators are compounds that change color in solution when they convert to their conjugate acid-base form. Now, what you do is you take your indicator, you take a very small amount of it, and you place it into your solution before you begin titration. And what the indicator does it reacts with the H plus ions in the following way. When there is a lot of H plus ions dissociated in our solution, aka when it's acidic, that means equilibrium will shift this way. Now when there is very little H plus ions or our concentration of H plus ions is very low, equilibrium will shift this way, meaning we're going to have more of the conjugate base of our conjugate acid. Note that this represents one color and this represents a different color. So in solution, when this guy predominates, our solution will be of this color. And when this guy is in our solution and this guy predominates, the solution will be, will be of a different color. So once again, in acidic solutions, this guy dominates, and in basic solutions, this guy dominates. So we can look at the ratio of the concentration of this guy to this guy. And when the ratio is 10 or above, that means we're going to be of this guy, of this color. So of the acid color. Because there's much more of this than this in our solution. Now the opposite is true as well. When this guy will dominate, when there's more of this guy than this guy, and our ratio is 0.1 or less, that means the base color will dominate. So this guy will dominate. Now note that the end point is the point at which you observe a change in color. And the end point is not the same thing as the equivalence point. They are two different things.